Okay, I've realized something by using this setup, and I'll explain this to you and why I've done it. This is a piece of brass three-quarter rod cut down to three-quarters of an inch long. So it's a three-quarter, I'll show you, three-quarter diameter rod, three-quarters inch long. I've got two of those. And in the center is a solid steel ball. What I found out using DC or AC, and I'm hooked up AC now, you see the positive lead and the negative. What I found out using three steel balls is steel is, is magnetic. So the electromagnetic field that three steel balls put out causes them to attract and repel, attract and repel. So I don't know that the, the cores and the, the elemental compositions of Earth, Venus, Mars were iron enough to make them electromagnetic and the cores were but i the cores according to my theory they're they're big magnets but anyway so i want to show you what happens when the outer the outer two are not magnetic okay the electrode here the electrode here is brass the screws are stainless steel so they're not magnetic either but the ball in the center is steel and if you remember on DC or AC, I got that ping pong back and forth. As long as the current was on, they would swing and, and push each other back and forth. The outside ones and the middle one. It, they made a, had a repetition to them one way or another. But I want to show you what this does. Since I've got brass on the outsides with a stainless steel screw and steel on the inside. I'm going to turn the power on. Power's on. I got to get it going. Actually, it did it itself. You notice it's solid, but there's no movement. I don't get the uh, I don't get the repel and attraction, attract and repel, attack and repel. It don't happen. And I can swing them, and it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's a continuous arc because these are not magnetic. See what I'm saying? So the electromagnetic field between them does not affect the electrodes. You get me? And I'm going to try putting another steel ball in the center with them too, and they should push back and forth. But if you see the difference between what this does on AC and what my other experiment did with three steel balls on AC and even DC, there was always a, a track repel, a track repel between the outside ones and the center ones when I had three. So I wanted to show you this. It just—it's a continuous arc. It doesn't quit. It never stops, unless I break it. I have to spread out a long ways to break it. And it does do a cool kind of arc if I swing them. You see? But they'll just continue that until the brass slows down. The steel will keep moving because it is electromagnetic. See how the brass stopped and the steel continues to swing because of the attraction and repulsion is a little bit there for the steel. So anyway, I found this out. It depends on the elemental composition of everything as far as the electromagnetic attraction and repulsion. Anyway, you can see the, the bright sparks on each side of each arc. Looks pretty cool. So I wanted to show that and I'm gonna move on.